Whenever you hear somebody in the state of Minnesota say Martin, you know exactly who they're talking about. Martin Weinstein. When I think about Martin, I, do, I think about he's a you know he's a, he's like a world class player. He has seen a lot of photographs. He knows the history of photography too. The fact that he's been so generous with his collection and with his passion, you know, it's we're just incredibly lucky. Martin has been a great friend and supporter of the Minneapolis Institute of Arts for so many years now. Incredibly approachable smart. Martin always has this kind of humbleness about him. We're so very grateful to Martin for giving his time and his collection to the MIA. His gifts will benefit our visitors for many, many years to come. The way I first got involved in the MIA, you know, to be frank, uh, when we first moved here 42 years ago, um, would have been, I'm sure, accompanying my wife. My wife never met a museum that she didn't love. What's kept me interested in the MIA is simply how really for myself, my wife and our children, the MIA has always had a feeling of being another home. And for 40 years that's been the case. In collecting, you're always sort of doing a risk. You're always at the point where you say, is this something I want to live with, to have? Uh, what's the importance of it? Is it what's the quality, the authenticity, etc.? And you have to be prepared to make mistakes. And I've made my share. I think that the major changes for me for photography has been not only the size of the image, uh, the process to get to the image, the ability to today manipulate an image on one side. And on the other side is the recognition of photography as a fine art. I don't know too many objects in the collection that it has been as popular as Todd Webb's eight panel picture of New York. It's been up a million times. And uh, I remember coming, you know, for some shows in which it was, or just walking the hall when it was on the hall, in the hallway, and watching people look at it and pointing, and, oh, remember that pineapple drink was 10 cents, and they could, it was, it's like the history of New York in the 40s. One of the images I recently gave the MIA was uh, Alex Soth's large image of Niagara Falls. Alex's work is very important to me also because of our personal relationship. You know, being a Minnesota photographer lives and works here. I, I love sharing things with people. You know, if I like something, I want someone else to like it too. I mean, what would you rather do? Have it either in a file cabinet or on your wall where four people saw it and no one else enjoyed it? I like sharing things.